Tomlinson for Leading Edge Dog Show Academy and today we're going to go over just cleaning and plucking the ear of a breed that might have a hairy ear. So it could be a poodle, a doodle, a Portuguese water dog, Irish water spaniel, lots and lots of breeds grow hair in their ears and we're just going to show you how to quickly pluck that and then just give the ear a little wipe out and clean. So please enjoy. So when plucking an ear, obviously if your dog can lay down nice and flat, that is better because then it's just easier for you to get at the ear and you just want to simply flip the ear backwards. So you can see this ear is, you know, it's dirty and it's pretty hairy. So you can see this hair doesn't really want to come out, but this hair on the outside of the ear leather, I like to just start plucking this. and. Um, that might be all you do, right? Like those seven hairs might be all you do the first time that your dog has its ear plucked because you don't want to traumatize them. You don't want to pluck out too much hair. And then you'll notice that I'm using my fingers. I prefer for the most part, I mean, you know, if you're in a salon with a lot of really hairy ear dogs, you might want to be using hemostats or some kind of forcep, but I prefer to just use my fingers. And again, just take out little bits of hair and you'll notice how I'm, holding the rest of the ear like open and still so that I'm not pulling at the skin. And then I'm just gonna keep like kind of pulling this hair with my fingers. And I don't really necessarily need to have the whole ear canal completely bald, some people do. Um, it depends on what you like. I like it to be clean enough that medication can get in there and that I can get it clean. So this is almost clean enough for me. Now this longer stuff, if you had a dog that really hated getting their ears plucked this longer stuff at this point you could just cut that off um, with a pair of light blunt nose scissors just so you can get more air and stuff in there and that's what i would do with a really difficult dog or an older dog that has never had their ear plucked their ears plucked so then for this hair you can just put a little bit of ear powder on it and what the ear powder does is it just gives you a little bit of grip right so then it's easier to get some of these hairs out um and so then same thing, but I'm taking like, it looks like a lot of hair because it's long, but I'm not trying to take this whole gob of hair out at one time. I'm just taking like little bits and like kind of twisting my hand and pulling that hair out. And you know, even these little hairs like right in here, I can still get those out. And now you can see some of them are a little bit waxier. They have like built up wax in there. And just keep kind of, now this is a long ear plucking session, but this is a dog that's used to having their ears plucked. But I'm just gonna keep, you know how they say you should never put anything smaller than your elbow in a baby's ear. I kind of feel the same way about my dogs but I'm just gonna keep rolling that ear and like just these few little hairs I might wanna get out. So I might just add a little bit more ear powder. Oh, that was quite a bit. So just kind of flick it out and then just go in there and pluck those ear hairs out. And there you go. So this is a fairly well plucked ear now, I would say. I mean, some people like to go in there with um, some tweezers and get those little hairs out but I don't think that's super necessary. I think that's when we start irritating the ear canal. So now I just have like a cotton pad and I'm going to of course use um, Chris Christensen Mystic Ear. And just put some on that cotton pad. And again, I like to start at the outside. So I'm gonna start on this area out here that's like kind of dirty and grimy. And of course, sometimes it can be a little bit of pigment that's on the outside of that ear. And we just kind of give that a minute to soak in there. And then with my finger, I'm just gonna go into that ear, get that ear powder out of there. And then of course, I'm gonna get another cotton pad, some more cleaner on it. And you notice how I'm not shooting the ear cleaner down the ear, right? Um, you know, I don't want to met a wet mess down in there. I don't want them shaking their heads. And then some of this greasy stuff on the outside of their ears, you can address that um, in the bath with a little bit of shampoo. Um, sometimes for that outer stuff, 
I like to put a little bit of self rinse on that same on a different cotton pad and just kind of go over this so when I get it in the tub I know that I'm just gonna wash that part of the ear off I don't know if, whether you can see these two stripes right here those are just pigment stripes like her pigment just coming through just like you know you have pigment on their gums you can have pigment on their ears so there you go a nice clean plucked ear hi guys I hope you enjoyed today's video please give us a like and if you haven't already done so you can subscribe to our channel below also check out leadingedgedogshowacademy.com for our premium content we had a lot of fun bringing you all this information. See you soon. Bye.